guys welcome to the vlog um today is wednesday i am off today because it is juneteenth um many places are still open so we're gonna run a few errands today i do not plan on being out all day i spent the morning soaking up some like mommy and me time with my daughter because i mean i work uh monday through friday typically so with that you know we miss out on some long naps and long cuddles together so we enjoy a little bit of mommy and me time um i had to go run to do something personal this morning and then now i'm going to do a couple errands so today i want to accomplish number one i need to get some like toiletries and things like that from the store i also need to look for a outfit because i'm attending a um I guess you could say meeting about something very important. It's in reference to like my business that I'm starting that I keep hinting to you guys, but I have not fully disclosed yet, but we'll get there. Um, so I need to find something for that meeting. It's with my local chamber of commerce. Um, and I mean, I have some outfits, so I may wear something I have at home. I may not, but I'm just going to browse around for a couple of outfits. And then I also need to look for some things for my guest room. So I know in my previous vlog, I told you guys that I, um, my husband and I, like we moved into our home, not even a full year ago. It's been about maybe 10 months, nine to 10 months or so. so but, um, yeah, we finished quite a bit of our home, like really, really quick before I gave birth to my daughter. But after we gave birth, we just kind of put some projects on hold just because we needed to adjust to life and then going back to work and all that stuff. So we're finally in a place where we want to start maybe finishing up um, a couple of things that are not done in the house. So that's going to be a work in progress, but I'm going to look for some items for that. So I know I'm looking for um a comforter set for my guest room and then i'm looking for possibly like a dresser or something along those lines i also need to clean my car my car needs to be clean typically y'all have a good husband who cleans my car fills up the gas tank and i know he would be very disappointed in me because I have not cleaned it, so I need to. I mean, it's not terrible, but like I do need to clean it. I can't lie. So I'm going to take one thing off of his plate and clean it for myself. But at least he doesn't have to worry about doing that. I need to get gas because I don't normally get gas either. And I've been doing a little bit of riding and the gas needs to be refilled. So instead of waiting... And not even waiting, but like, you know, waiting to put that on his plate. I'm just going to do it myself today. But I hope to complete these errands in two hours or less. I am in like a full shopping center. And then most of the things I need to do are all like in the same city. So I don't need to go that far. But I'm being very intentional. Um, I also want to cook um today too i mean i cook almost every day but i just want to cook something specific today as well so yeah i only have about an hour and a half two hours to get all this stuff done um because i want to get back home and spend more time with my family so we're gonna go into target only because target is just the most convenient thing like right in front of me um and i'm gonna call y'all when we get inside so yeah okay so i'm i'm in target right now and you guys i just had the craziest idea so you guys know how i told you how i like accidentally turned natural or whatever but i think i may try to style my natural hair since i'm off today i may take advantage of the time so i can either twist my hair or put it in like um like a quick uh sew in or something like that but nonetheless i'm in the hair care aisle and for some reason i think i want to try a little twist out situation i don't know i mean if i ever had the time to do it it would be today the only time i didn't want to do it well the only reason i didn't want to do it previously was because i didn't want to um like uh do my hair and i didn't like it and i had to go somewhere wait let me go to the products for my hair type 
okay here we go <laughs> so i normally use the shea moisture for my daughter's hair and i'm kind of indifferent on how i like it um her hair i'm still trying to figure out what's the best like a uh, routine for it and it's crazy because typically i can learn hair really really quickly but for some reason i'm trying to find out what works best for her and then because she is still such a young child um i'm trying not to use too many um things in her hair so like i don't want like a ton of oil a ton of grease a ton of build up um i'm going back to my roots and i use um a specific specific type of like oil grease that my mom used on my hair as a child and my hair grew flawlessly um so i'm just trying to find the best thing for her as well but what should i use if i'm trying to do a twist out and i know twist outs are like very specific with like your hair your retention the oil the butters the, all of this stuff makes a difference in how your like twist out turns so if you happen to be watching this back let me know but i'm gonna probably grab a few things to try in my hair to do a twist out i know the meal is really popular right now but i mean it's a lot of hype around the products so i'm not sure if they're great miss jesse's um there's not much of this left on the shelf which <laughs> makes me think i'm gonna lean towards this way and then of course we have shea moisture and i know they've changed their formulation and stuff but it seems to still be doing pretty okay for the vast majority of people so if you see this in your natural let me know what you use and again i'm not completely sold that i'm going to be wearing my hair in a natural state but i'm gonna give it a fair try maybe or you may see me with uh sewing tomorrow we'll see Okay, you guys may have remembered from like a real a couple days ago how I told you guys about the black and chicken tenders. I will forever buy these because you literally can't go wrong. Like if you're looking for something quick with decent calories and not fried and breaded, you know, that's about the best thing you can get. Now I have tried like the Beyond brand and then the Bear brand. Um, and there are some that I like, but those Tyson ones are just like a complete go-to. Um, I am gonna get a couple protein shakes because my family is like on a diet kind of sort of. So we have just been doing some intermittent fasting and then some other things in between. So I've been eating clean for the most part for the most part <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna grab a couple protein shakes and that's pretty much gonna wrap up target i don't have much to get but i will grab some quick steam in the bag um vegetables these do pretty well we're gonna have some rice at home and i think i may even make some like fried rice just to keep it in there for my other meal number so yeah all right i found it down here so this is it it's like a whole grain pasta i mean again it's it's still pasta so it's not the the best thing in the world but if i were to get it i prefer these and you really can't even taste the difference and it's like a really good source of fiber the calories are just slightly a little bit less and then you can look at all the nutritional facts here but i mean this is not the most clear but Okay, yeah, anywho, I'm gonna get the whole brand. Okay, there's one last thing I have to get is just my dishwasher um, pods. So, let me find those. Okay, so usually I always use Cascade inside of my dishwasher. It's just, I don't know, it's just a very recognizable brand and it's not feel me, you know and i know they have the finish and some people like and prefer sorry some people prefer the finish but i just don't know but i do know i use the finish like add-in with the like rinse like this but i wonder if i just use the finish pod instead it may like fully clean like this one is like finish ultimate so that's like a real big one is the camera a little fuzzy? Let me see. 
my daughter is pretty okay right now i'm gonna do a larger haul of some like summer clothes for her but y'all already know how i feel about target at this time of year like i just can't do the little thin straps like i mean some of the things are cute and i mean you don't want the kid to be suffocating like the things here are cute I mean, these are carter brand so they know what we want as parents like you know something like this just you know cute all of these are actually really cute sets i may actually get her one but or a couple of them but it's just the ones that just feel like the baby need a little bit more clothes on i just can't do because it's already i believe in balance like if you're gonna have the arms out then you know you may have to get some longer little pants but it's just me but some things are cute here so i'm not gonna just completely down target like this is cute i'm not gonna completely down them but I don't know this season just hasn't really been doing it for me usually i can come in and get so many things that i like but it's been feeling a little bit of disappointment lately okay i have wrapped up with a few things that i need to get into target and i'm about to go get gas now um y'all i don't have no makeup on what else is new I really do actually enjoy doing my makeup, but sometimes because I know I'm going to be playing with my baby, like I just don't want her hands on my face and stuff like that. So I'm embracing it. It is what it is. But anywho, we're about to go get gas. All right, y'all. So while I'm out running around, I decided to stop to get some lunch at Chick-fil-A. Um, I try not to eat fast food too often, but when I do, um, I always use the apps so I can kind of like count calories in the app. So what I ordered was a spicy chicken sandwich wrapped in lettuce, um, which I think is a little bit closer to like 300 calories, I think. Um, and then I got fruit as my side, which is like 30 or 40 calories and then a bottle of water. So the whole meal, I think is like 395 calories, just under 400 for lunch. Um, I didn't have breakfast and it's like 1.30 now and I'm probably not gonna eat. I'm probably may I may like snack a little bit for dinner, but that's about it um for the day. So I think that's pretty good in terms of just like eating out or whatever. So yeah, that's what I'm doing at this present moment. The line is like ridiculous, so I shouldn't have waited till I got hungry to eat. But if I didn't, y'all, I wasn't gonna eat. And then I'm confused because go ahead. It's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> we, y'all, we all have like ordered ahead. So it's like just a ton of people um, in line or whatever. So, um, I wanted to come chat with y'all about something while I waited for the food. Oh, I got gas. So I'm, you know, I have some gas. So I'm not going to run the gas. So that's great. My skin looks better now in this lighting. It really just be the lighting. I'm not going to lie. And then, of course, I'm filming on my camera. So, you know, I need y'all to keep watching so we can grow and earn the money. So, <laughs> um, yeah, but today has been a pretty good day. It's warm. It's like 72 degrees. So I may take my daughter out to like the splash pad for her to be able to splash and play around a little bit and cool off um but after this i'm gonna go to the store to try to find either a blouse or a dress to wear to the meeting i have on friday and then i'm gonna go home i may do a little bit of work may not today is my day off i've already said that but um it's getting very close to like peak season for my job so with that I may be doing a little bit of work today, but I may wait until my daughter's sleep to do that. So, like, in between her naps, I may do that. But, yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, I wanted to chit-chat about a video that I saw online, but... Oh! This is the perfect time! I may not be able to talk about it a lot because I'm almost to the front to get my food. But, so, have you guys been seeing all these videos about people talking about, like, oh, everybody's broke, everybody's broke? Now, I do think, like people are making these videos for a valid reason but I also think some people are making it as like clickbait just to see other people's opinion and do I think everybody's broke I do and the reason why is because 
y'all okay this is not me talking about people please don't think that because i'm just not even that type of person but guys i've been seeing more people like on the side of the road asking for money and usually you'll see people who are more like um displaced or unhoused you know by the side of the road but some people i've been seeing um i'm not gonna say it doesn't look like they're like unhoused but like it's like the quality of people who are asking it's just like not what it used to be so i do believe people are struggling right now things are very expensive i cannot go to the store without spending at least you know 75 to 100 dollars even on small things it all adds up so do i think everybody's broke i do now i'm almost to get my food so i'm gonna call y'all back okay guys i'm at my last stop for today which is the home goods tj maxx little combo that i talked to y'all about previously but I'm going to make it quick because it's almost 3 o'clock and I'm ready to go ahead and get like lunch slash dinner started. But um, I'm looking for a duvet cover. I'm looking for, what else did I say? A dresser, but I mean, I highly doubt they'll have a dresser. And then I really can't help myself, but I really need to find some like summer clothes for my daughter. I talked about this in Target, but I just want to get a couple little pieces nothing too crazy for her um just because it's getting warm like even today it's like creeping up to be like 75 and uh, it's 75 but it feels like 85 so i'm gonna zip up in here and i'm gonna take y'all along okay as soon as i got in i see this like section full of like cool inflatables these are cute. We don't have a pool, but if we did, I would definitely pick up probably that little pineapple one over there. These are pretty cute, especially if you're looking to add something to your pool. This summer, they have a nice clear one too. This is just $12.99, so it's not bad. This is another hack that I always um used for like parties for other people so you know how you go to walmart and everybody goes to the party or target and like you go to the party and everybody has the same like party bag or wrapping paper if you go to like home goods you'll find some cute paper that not everybody kind of picks up and it's not that crazy like 3.99 sometimes you can find it for like 2.99 so like, this is some cute pink wrapping paper this one like this this one is really cute for like those summer parties and stuff it has like tangerines and pears and stuff it's glittery and super cute so yeah if you're ever having like a party or wrapping something for someone and you're just the type of person who's like oh i don't want the same wrapping paper and i know it's not the biggest deal in the world but a lot of people tend to forget and sleep on home goods for like party bags and stuff for something that's a little bit more like out of the norm so yeah okay i know they have a big sign outside that says like a lot of things are on clearance and it looks like there is so it's like a nice fiddle leaf tree come on now focus okay so yeah 99 it's a pretty good full tree it has a really good base at the bottom too so I guess they were correct when they said they had a lot of sales and they have three of them. So if you are somebody who needs like a couple of them for a larger space, the bar stools are a much better price than they were last week. So 55 for this one, even though I don't need bar stools, but yeah, this is a much better price than the ones we were seeing for like over a hundred dollars last week. So. Looks like they're really trying to get some things out and moving. All right, they didn't have any updated like comforters and everything from the time I came last week, but I did see a couple little sets I'm probably gonna pick up. Let's see, I'm on this little flower. No. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna grab this one. It's just a regular play set for like every day. Undersea party. Hey. I could see this for a hot day. I'm not really a fan of these little shorts, but I like the socks. Um, we may pass on that. Lord, this one looks so big on my baby. <laughs> There's so many things that say Mama's Mini. So it'd be cute if it didn't have like long sleeves because it's hot out. We have a lot of dresses and a lot of them that actually look very similar to this. So I'm gonna pass. I don't know if y'all are like me. Like, I hate to buy one thing in the store. So, if I can't haul and buy, like, multiple, like, I'll end up not buying anything at all. And I don't think I'm liking anything that's in, like, the six to nine months. So, I think we're going to call today a bust. No. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to pretty much consider these to be i know i mean even though i like this one i just feel like i want multiple things so put in the comments if you're like that too like you have to buy multiple things why is it so okay there we go yeah i feel like i have to buy multiple things to like check out and swipe my car i don't know if you feel the same way all right i'm just coming out of home goods and something just popped in my brain so have you guys ever kind of experienced mom guilt? So I have never spent a day without, well, a night without my daughter. I went on like one day trip and I was supposed to spend the night away um, to Florida. And I, oh wait, okay, there we go. I couldn't do it. So my husband was like, okay, you need to rejuvenate. You need to get away, you know, and just kind of have some me time. And y'all, I kid you not, I just could not even do that one night. So I flew out that morning around like, I don't know. I can't remember because it's been like a month now, but I flew out at like 6, 7 a.m. And then I, I can't put y'all on a tripod, but I'll just hold it because I'll make it quick. I flew out that morning and I went to Florida enjoyed my day and then I checked into my hotel and for some reason like I immediately started to have so much mom guilt and it wasn't even that but it was like I felt like I could not be away from my child like <laughs> I don't know if you guys feel this way but it was like yes I was tired yes I needed to relax but I felt like my child just really needed me and in actuality she was fine but I just couldn't do it so um I guess I just wanted to chat real quick about like people who may be experiencing mom guilt. Um, I would say it's fairly normal. Um, I don't know why people harp so much on women and their children versus like the men. Men, they just keep on going and keep on going. And I'm not going to get in that conversation because I'm, I understand that we all play different roles for a reason. You know, a woman can't be a man and a man can't be a woman. And when I say that, I mean in a role sense please don't take that and turn it into something else because i'm not having that argument on the internet but what i'm saying is both roles are very valuable to um you know everyday life and to function or whatever so i just feel like you know a lot of women internalize it when men have a, a, a way easier time you know separating even if it's just to relax and rejuvenate so if you're experiencing any type of mom guilt, just know it's normal. Um, I can't really give me much advice about like how to overcome that because 
is something I struggle with from time to time, even with working, even with running errands. Like I'm constantly looking at the clock like, okay, I've been too long. Let me go ahead and make it back home. Or, um, you know, I want to spend as much time as I can with her. Uh, but with that, it's just a everyday struggle. From what I hear from moms who have like older children, like it gets better as they grow. But look at it as like, you know, they're little people and they need us for everything right now. And I feel like that's okay. But if you're internalizing the guilt of like, okay, I cannot balance anything I need to balance because I'm constantly thinking about my child. Um, know that that's a very normal feeling. Um, and it just means that you're like natural instincts are work, working and kicking you know um so yeah i am now about to go on home i didn't find the comforter that i was looking for they didn't have anything new from the last time i was here and i didn't find anything else that i wanted to purchase even though they had some pretty decent deals this time so the last time i was at home goods they claimed that stuff was on sale and on clearance and I feel like there was not enough clearance. But today they had some things that were really good on clearance. So if you have a local home goods, check it out. Um, it just wasn't anything that I was particularly buying. Um, I typically shop with a lot of intention. So I'm never really a person to just be like, you know, enticed on a, a purchase that I didn't intend to make. But with that being said, if you are intentionally looking for things like patio furniture, um, yeah, most of it is like patio furniture and like household furniture too. So that's all I got. I am going to go home, start on lunch slash dinner. I mean, it's three o'clock, so pretty much dinner. Um, Yeah, I think I may wrap up the vlog here. I was considering like vlogging home life too and showing you guys like, oh, I'm cooking and all that stuff. But I really don't know if that's the vibe like just let me know y'all because i am trying out different styles and like i feel like when i'm recording this it's like a whole bunch of tiny clips but when i put it together like it turns out to be like a 20 minute 30 minute vlog um but i can do much longer vlogs which i think i said before so i need y'all to be more responsive and let me know what y'all want to see because if y'all want to see further more in the day let me know but if not, I'm going to just keep playing with what I'm doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah, for now, I think I'm going to wrap it up. But if I come back, I come back. And if not, I'm going to see y'all and call y'all back. Y'all, I'm back real quick. So, look, this reminded me of something because I typically listen to, like, YouTube as I drive and stuff. And somebody just hosted a video about, like, the pop the balloon whatever i don't know if y'all know anything about the little pop the balloon i have to be so for real y'all i have truly never watched a full episode of like the pop the balloon dating show or whatever i typically see like little clips of it like as i scroll through social media occasionally but i've never watched a full show but from the clips it, it looked like it ain't my type of show it's nothing against that type of stuff it's just I don't know i just don't find any entertainment out of it i guess it's like low-key entertaining but like i just find entertainment out of other things but y'all this really has me so joked out because people really do anything for entertainment and for like some type of attention on the internet and i mean i'm obviously making videos but i'm not making videos to be shocking or adding shock value and I don't know like I don't know if people don't realize that whatever you post to the internet is permanent I don't know if people think that other people won't like have an opinion about what you're saying on these shows I don't know but I find it actually kind of funny and it makes me want to watch the shows now just to see like the whole full purpose of them but I just had to come and say this little tidbit people do anything and everything for a little bit of you know attention a little bit of um shock value and stuff and hey people are getting paid like from what i hear i know i just said everybody broke <laughs> earlier in this video but from what i'm seeing people are getting paid somehow you know some way throughout all, all this entertainment and shock value so i guess that's why people do it I don't know, but I just had to come say that, like, people really are doing anything and everything for a little bit of attention. 
So I think this may be the real end of the vlog. So I'm going to call y'all back.